than meets the eye. Autobots wage their battle to destroy the evil forces of the Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us. For this special video showcase, we're going to once again be returning to the Marvel UK Transformers comic. For those of you who are new to this, I'm going to do a very quick review, cover to cover. Shouldn't take more than two minutes. So if you just want to see that, fantastic. But then after that, what I do is I go back to the beginning and I scroll nice and slowly over all the text. So if everybody wants to read it, they can. You may have to use the pause button, but it's just something that you can do if you want to. So here comes the review now. Let's get started. So as you can see... It originally came out, we're in issue number 30 now, came out on the 12th of October 1985, and it was 30p. And the story they run at the moment is Decepticon Dam Busters. Now this is a British story, so from the UK artists, and you'll be able to tell that by the artwork. We'll have a quick look, there's some information there. It's just the contents basically, we've got a little Robo Caper strip there. And then, yeah, what I was just saying is the UK artists, they drew their pictures uh, very toy accurate at the beginning. There we go. You can see this is a Simon Furman script. And again, I'm going to be going over this nice and slowly, nice and slowly soon. That looks like they could be in the gold, the gold and the gloom, doesn't it? It's too big. Yeah, it's... It looks like, I think, the video's arrival from Cybertron. I'm not too sure, but it definitely looks like one of the cartoons. I think it was called Arrival from Cybertron in the UK, but I think it was called More Than Meets the Eye everywhere else. So, yeah, here's the story. And I think this is where they're tying it up now with the US comics, because the US comics just finished off with, I think her name's Josie, isn't it? So they're just tying it up ready for when that's coming in soon. We've got some fantastic artwork there on the Dinobots. And again, from the UK comics, we've got Guardian. He's coming up in the next issue. So let's just have a quick look what else is left in the comic. Dungeons and Dragons was huge in the mid 80s. They had their own cartoon series and everything on the BBC. It was brilliant. Soundwaves letters. There's a picture of Jazz, although I think it looks far more like Prowl. And then we've got Machine Man, which was, of course, another Marvel hero. Not a huge hero, obviously. Nothing like the Avengers, so it didn't take the attention away from the Transformers. But... There's not much more left. It's obviously saying the Guardian's back. And we've got the Dinobots in the next issue. But finally, look at this. What an advert this is. We've got an advert for the Dinobots. There we go. That's really good artwork, actually. Of course, not pictures. And then Slag's obviously got his red face. So that's not the full one there. But there you go. So that was the very quick review for people who want to stay on there and actually read it. I'm going to be quiet and allow you to do just that.
and there we go then so as you can see it's sort of starting to tie up there ready with the american comic when it comes back in but there you go that was transformers uk marvel comic issue number 30 from october 1985 hope you enjoyed looking at it thank you for your comments and taking the time to watch this and of course please take care thanks for watching like and comment and don't forget to subscribe